Google Stadia is shutting down. How oh, sad. Oh, no. Are you, oh, Nick, are you sad? Oh, everybody. Uh, I feel bad for Reggie Watts. I feel like this is a, <laughs> I feel like this is a you thing, though. Yeah, because I didn't get it. No, no, no. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> no, Nick, no, you no. didn't save Google. Oh, man. I think what I meant to say is that, like, I felt like this is technology you would adapt. Because, you know, for only forty four ninety nine a month, if you get the <laughs> Pixel Plus package through Google, you get a Pixel phone. You get however many terabytes of storage. Don't forget, you uh, get YouTube Premium. You get YouTube Premium. You get um, you get Google Plus. They bring that back from the dead for yeah, you. Yeah, uh huh. And you Stadia, get, right? And Sta- no, St- I don't think Stadia was on there. Oh, it wasn't. I think by the time this package came around, Stadia, they already knew. It's like this is not working. Like, oh, no, 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 dude. St- I said it from the start that this game. That this strategy was not good. Well, it's a weird. Pat, you it's really a weird, you were so prescient with that but observation. Shit. Well, it's just like a weird <laughs> setup for how things are currently, and I feel Google does this a lot. They're like, "Oh, this might be the way to do something. We think we're gonna like make it as the you know they're like okay streaming games, not like locally downloaded. All of this, they're like that can be big, and then they have the technology to be on like the forefront of that and make it decent." And then kind of as shit continues to catch up and they're like, well, no, that's a bad option. No one wants to do that. Yeah, I think the like problem Google is Glass. like but, Google Glass. So the thing about game streaming right now, because we do have it with PSN, we have it with xCloud Here's and even with Game Pass, there's streaming. I mean, I guess that's what xCloud is. Yeah. Either way, those are older games or games that you're taking on the fly, like with mobile. You can buy a controller to just um, put your phone, right put your in, right? phone yeah. on and you can stream games from game pass onto your phone and play them right and even then like there's game pass is going to be an app built into tvs now and in streaming sticks that you'll be able to just bluetooth a controller to right you won't have you to can, worry about like yeah so i think the the technology is slowly getting there to make these things more possible but it's the market specifically because i want to own my games like, first of all, we went 80% digital. And, like, we already... We talked about this sh- before about the show how um, I played Overwatch 2. I paid for Overwatch 1 when it came out. No more. Like, they just <laughs> took that game away. They took and it from they me. They literally took it. <laughs> that was today. <laughs> they took it from us. Um, I didn't even know they could just do that. I didn't know you could do that. No. Like, regardless of the fact, yeah, but the progress trends is... Da, da, da. And then, like, you know, the, which is not a good excuse, but it's basically the same game. But still, like, I paid you, you took, you for took that version. That yeah, I you took away. something that I owned away. Like, so we know that they can do that now right. is number one. and um, Which, to be fair, I'm sure is, like, in, like, the Steam end user license agreement and everything. Maybe, but fuck all that. But fuck all that. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Whereas, like, these games down here, like, I can just pop in and play any one of them at any time. They well, don't that, shut yeah. the servers down or anything, or they just d- d- take it out of my fucking library. But um, I guess my point is that people want to own their games. They want to keep their games, you know? And digital was really convenient. It's also faster, and it also makes zero goddamn sense to buy physical today when you want to run these games on these hard drives the keys are basically i mean the cds are just keys to, to unlock the software literally yeah and then yeah. it downloads all yeah, yeah exactly. exactly so um it's just it's just I shitty like, that it's going this way but i don't see that for streaming like it's all ancillary like x cloud is ancillary that's a game pass that's all the my psn point. games that stream are the ones that are like megabyte sizes that yeah. you can easily like there's no latency between like the sh- the 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 server and my playstation you right. know what i mean like i feel like if it's like it's like streaming right now it's like streaming used to be you had cable television and then you streaming was ancillary it was right. like something you got in addition to it where um i feel like we're in that stage of game streaming and this just kind of like you know yeah Go- google stadia shutting down kind of drives that point home well that's i think like what you mentioned is like you have xbox and you have playstation and you have these empires of games and they're like great we can do that like you expect this to be an added feature potentially for these kind of things but when you're making an entire platform based off of it from google who is using you know other obviously not just their games and shit there's clearly all the other ip on it but it's like why would you why would i do that why would i ever opt for stadia versus like you know, if you're stupid, PSN if or you're like nasty. Xbox Game Pass. But like, seriously, I mean, the only thing I like, 
like we said, when it first came out, it might be a good like budget choice for somebody who can't afford to yeah. to buy a, uh, a well, console and buy the games. Well, like when you look at the fair. price, though, the controller itself is like sixty five. Then you got to sign up. You got to sign up to the fucking server access for Stadia, which is a hundred dollar fee. For the year, or to, that's to, like, to that's get like an in, that's like an fee, right? activation oh. fee to get in. Then it's something like fifteen dollars a month, it's ten bucks a month for pro for, this, for pro, and then some games you still gotta buy the sixty dollar price yeah, tag. That's out. Bullshit. Right so there. that's what I'm saying is like, is it worth it? Because like you're already up to three hundred something dollars at that point. Get a Series S. And get a Game Pass subscription for ten dollars a month. You get way more shit. Yeah. You know I, I, I mean? like. I, I understand like, it being a accessible, like allegedly a like you know low barrier to entry. But yeah, when you break it down, it's not. It's really yeah. I mean, maybe they're just banking on like, oh, it's only ten dollars a month, and then you oh know, shit, people, I have to buy this. Yeah. Oh fuck, I'm already in. Like yeah. yeah. Um, and then um, I'm trying to think. The other thing, oh, I mean, like obviously, like just put this on the pile of shit that Google starts. And it's like, well, this didn't work out. Uh, Google Plus, I mentioned before. Um, Google Glass, we also mentioned before. Google Glass. Um, what else? What uh, else? Google butt plugs. Google oh, butt yeah, plugs. Right, People that's right. weren't into it. Google well, dildos. Also like, well, I mean, listen, I didn't need to be broadcasting my butt plug on Google Maps, and they just exactly. refused to shut that off. So, yeah, I, of, I made sure part of the on, user. So agreement I had to was take he... it out. You know, <laughs> part of the user agreement was here's Pat's asshole. Yeah, you know, <laughs> on Google Maps. <laughs> I look like Nico, and I'm. <laughs> it's like oh, oh i'm tracking him there he's going yeah. <laughs> um but yeah fuck google stadia yeah and i mean like this was last year that they google like ended their whole like first party game development oh. and everything <laughs> okay remember <laughs> and it yes. closed two studios yes. with it too we talked about we also talked about um we talked about how google's offering full refunds to everyone <laughs> who bought stadia so that means I could go buy a Stadia set right now, get the Maybe, refund but. from Google, and then go return the hardware to the store and just double my money. Yeah, it's for all Stadia hardware purchases. This is a quote from them. Stadia controllers, Founders Edition Premier, Play and Watch with Google TV through the Stadia store. So you have to get it through that. So if you only order them through the store... So it's not like you could go to you can't just go to Target buy Stadia shit. Uh, they did this, Pat. <laughs> They're wanted, thinking. They can try to think. They can try. All right. Well, no one is surprised. <sighs> yeah, no one's surprised that it went this way. You're absolutely right. But still, fuck it. I, I it's it sucks because they, it could have been. I mean, like, do you think Amazon Luna? Do you think this builds any confidence in Amazon Luna? The fuck is Amazon Luna? Exactly. It's what about Netflix thing? games? Okay, but Amazon Luna actually has AAA games on it. Yeah, it's their cloud gaming service, which yeah. never.